So what's the actual process to then modernizing your, your application? So there is a three stage process that we adopt. There's obviously assessing your application to make sure it's a good candidate for um, app modernization. There's the actual migration itself, if it's not already within um, Azure. And then there's the innovation side of things as well. So really taking advantage of um, those proactive services, whether that's intelligent analytics, DevOps practices, or pre-built AI components to help you offer that enhanced experience um, as part of your application. Um, and the key thing there is, is that there's lots of tools within Azure that Microsoft have produced to help you through this particular journey. So there's the partner network in terms of Cloud Direct as a, an expert MSP partner that can obviously help you with these elements. But there's also some tools that you can use yourselves um, to be able to move forward with it and get an understanding of the journey for your particular application. So one of them that you need to be aware of is the Azure App Service Assessment. So again, this is a uh, uh, a nice and free assessment that allows you to basically look at your um, your app by, by essentially putting in its URL, and then it will give you a custom assessment report. Um, and essentially, what that will do is that will basically give you an endpoint report of what that will look within um, within potential app service, for example. And its compatibility is the key thing. So really understanding its compatibility with those um, cloud native services, um, and then a detailed list of of technologies that you need to potentially use to be able to modernize your application. So that's the first element that you can potentially look into with regards to the assessment side of things. And the second is doing a Cloud Pilot assessment. So Cloud Pilot is a, um, a technology that essentially does a static code analysis of, of your um, application. And what that will do is it will spit out a report that gives a, um, a detailed analysis of your application and its readiness to migrate to a cloud environment. But further than that, what it will also do is it will, it will scan your source code um, and then from there, it will give you a detailed report of any code level changes. So what coding needs to be changed and the, um, the amount of code that needs to be changed in order to, for you to modernize your application for the cloud and again, adopt those cloud native um, toolings um, as part of that modernization journey. So this is something that Cloud Direct can um, help with. So we can we basically run these ourselves, but additionally, it's something that we uh, work closely with Microsoft to roll out to the market um, where we can either do it as a, a free assessment. Uh, usually you'd have to pay for something like Cloud Pilot. Um, and again, the reporting back to you is something that we would do with, with Microsoft. So those are the two uh, assessment options that you need to be aware of. Obviously, you can do these yourselves if you'd like to, um, but they're a really good foundation for understanding the options for your, your application um, from a infrastructure and a, a code perspective uh, as part of that cloud native journey. Uh, moving on to the migrate phase. So obviously, once you've assessed your applications, what what do we what have we got and what are our options in terms of in terms of migrate? So you can use the migration assistant tool. Um, that's provided by um, by Microsoft, and that essentially automates the uh, the process of redeploying your application. So this is very much at the lift and shift and redeploy level. It will go up to um, containerization so using um, containers, so the AKS service and for containerization. But that's a that's a tool that can help get your application uh, on that initial IaaS journey. Um, uh, and, and obviously lift and shift to Azure. And then using things like redeploying existing code with CI CD pipelines is the next level to that uh, and allows you to then start to look at more of the pass based services uh, and then using app service, so Azure app service as part of that redeployment journey. And then bring your container. Um, so that's fully Azure app service where essentially you containerize your application and deploy using a Docker image into Azure app service. And that allows you to um, leverage all of the um, cloud native tooling um, and connectors that are part of the app service platform. Um, so things like AI, things like machine learning are all then enabled for your for your application. So those are the three key tools there um, with regards to those uh, those migration journeys, whether it's IS Pass or that full sort of Azure app service. Um, so using the migration assistant tool, CI CD pipelines, and then obviously bring your own container and containerizing it within the Azure app service itself, all things that we can help with if uh, if, if necessary. 
And then the other thing, key thing to uh, to look at is obviously data. So you can't move an application without really thinking about your data. So connecting your your data is a is a key thing. Um, and basically, you can reduce the complexity of that data transition through uh, database migration services that that Azure provides. So Azure SQL database is the primary and best sort of destination for managed SQL workloads, but you then have SQL managed instance on a, uh, a top layer on top of that, where essentially you don't really need to do anything from a management perspective of that SQL database. Um, you've got Azure database for MySQL, and then you've also got Azure database for PostgreSQL as well. So um, there's lots of different options there, whether you go from a, an IaaS through a, to a PaaS basis, but this, the key starting point is that SQL database moving towards a SQL managed instance as well.